Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to be going over Impulse and Drum Rack. So these are Ableton instruments that they have multiple pads or buttons, and each of those buttons represents a one-shot, a kick, a hi-hat, a snare, etc., etc. I actually have a hardware version right here. This is what one of those looks like. This is a Native Instruments machine. It's a lighty-up uh, pad thing. And uh, yeah, it's, it's reminiscent of the old uh, samplers from back in the day. It has uh, all these pads, and each one of these represents a sound. And uh, you kind of just drum along. So we're going to be making one of those in Ableton. It's going to be fun. Okay, I'm back. So let's hop in to this Ableton apparatus. We're going to start with Impulse. We're going to drop that in here. So this is Impulse. Just think of it as a simpler that has just a bunch of samples within it and each one of them is uh, a sound. So let's uh, add some sounds to it. Uh, I'm gonna go up to samples and then go up here and just type in what I need. So I need a kick. All right, so the kick thud, I'm gonna drag that and drop that into impulse. I can hit play and we can listen to it. Cool, I need a snare. All right, so that's an MPC snare. I'll have that in the second one. Very neat. Where else are we going? Uh, let's get a hat. The hi-hat variety. Closed hi-hat. Okay, so I have three sounds in here. Okay, we're, just, we're keeping it basic. Each one of these, I can adjust the start time. And I can change it, things like that. Impulse is like the bare bones version. Uh, it's worth covering because it's a, a introduction to what's going on. But here, check this. If I go up to session in, a, in an empty clip um, cell, I guess, because we're in Microsoft Excel, and I double click, I will create a MIDI clip and look down here. We have that kick, that thud, that thud kick, snare, and a hi-hat. So what I can do, is I can press B and I can draw in my kicks here. And if I hit play, I can make a beat out of those things. And just go crazy. And uh, that is triggering, the MIDI is triggering these uh, three pads here. And I can do some other stuff. I typically won't use impulse. Impulse is like um, an entrance um, to something that you should be doing things in a more advanced way. And I'll show you. The learning curve is not that bad once you get into drum rack, which is what the cool kids use. So let's go into instruments and then drop in drum rack. So this is, you know, eight, um, so 16 pads. Look familiar, look familiar, right? So this is what we're gonna do. So each one of these pads is triggered by a key, so C1. And uh, the push is a little bit sticky, but whatever. So each one of these pads needs to be a sample. So we already went over something that samples something that is simpler. Uh, but we don't need to think that far ahead. So let's just highlight a cell and then go to samples and then go kick, 90s kick, and then drag that onto a cell. Boom. It had, it's loaded up simpler, remember that? And it's defaulted to one shot, which is what we want. Right, so we have that. Let's get a, a kick in there. No, sorry. Snare. Acoustic snare. Right, things like that. You got that, let's get um, another hat in there. Boom. Okay, so we have, uh, why is that so sticky? Stop being sticky. So 
you have those three things, same thing applies. We'll double click up here. And then uh, there you go. We have all, only what's uh, context sensitive. So I can uh, just draw something in. Well, I gotta hit play first. And uh, yeah, it's kind of boost the volume. Right, just some basic, whatever. And uh, that is uh, your drum rack. And it's, you know, triggered by MIDI. So why would you want to use a drum rack? Well, it affords you some interesting opportunities, i.e. you can do some cool things with each of these. You can add a different effect altogether. You can even add a synth to one of these cells and make like some sort of like one shot or percussive element. You can do all sorts of things. You can put effects post uh, all of these samples. You can engage the filter and shape things just like you used to back in the day, but like way more advanced and a cool feature in these versions of Ableton is you can mix them by uh, popping open this so they're not an enclosed device they can be separated and segregated into separate channels for maximum mixing possibilities um, that's basically it i'm not going to get into any of the uh, the routing or anything like that uh, quite yet but that is a basic drum rack so i want you to make some drum racks and uh, play around with it and things of that nature. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.